If you guys are in the market for a beautiful flybridge motor yacht, do I have a treat for you? Click the link in the description below for the full ad for this boat. But for now, we're going to take you on a tour of this fantastic 2004 Meridian 341 motor yacht. Good afternoon everyone. I wanted to share with you this video of a beautiful 341 Meridian that we have for sale. It's a 2004 model. Very low hours, only about 375 hours on the engines and generator as well. Has twin 6.2 liter Mercruiser multi-port fuel injected V8s. 320 horsepower piece of course. Freshly waxed so it is absolutely beautiful, shiny smooth gel coat in very good condition does have a few uh, minor nicks and things like that as you would expect from a boat of this age but in overall condition is very nice and has shined up very very well again this was just freshly waxed very nice tinted windows beautiful engine vents on the side she's named happy hours just wanted to give you guys an overall look at the exterior. These are very, very nice boats, very uh, well handling. Draws less than three feet of water, which was very impressive. Uh, you can take this uh, boat, which has two staterooms and a single head, in a lot of areas uh, where you, most people would only take like a center console. You've got a nice delta anchor here and a windlass with foot controls on the bow. It is a Lumar windlass. We've got a wash down also for the anchor. It's nice that it's headed in like this in the slip so I can just show this to you. Got your wash down here. With also access to your road in the bottom of this storage locker. Hatch on the front of course. Spotlight. Beautiful opening port windows. Stainless cleats, stainless rails. Uh, one of the things that's great about these meridians no exterior wood, teak, anything like that. They're super easy to maintain. Just keep a little bit of wax on them. Polish those stainless rails and she will be beautiful for years to come. Of course, it is a flybridge model. So we head up these steps right here from the cockpit. Easy to step on from the dock. We also have a shower and the transom here. Hot and cold running water. Nice little swim platform with a reboarding ladder over here on the port side. 50 amp shore power cable. This uh, swim platform is actually hollow and from the cockpit here we have two opening doors, hatches in the cockpit. Tons of storage underneath and since that swim platform is hollow it is actually storage through there and the camper canvas and enclosure for the back is actually stored in there right now. We have another storage compartment behind this teak table set. This chair and table set actually goes with the boat. We've got rod holders mounted in the gunnels, courtesy lights all around. Let's go up and take a look at the flybridge area. Nice, beautiful, open, airy setup up here. Have a Yeti cooler on the back, more rod holders. Got it over the air television antenna, anchor light, very nice fiberglass arch with speakers built into it on either side. Have an area back here, really very nice. You can either keep your Yeti cooler here, keep a couple uh, low chairs in, have a very nice view off the back of the boat, raised above the cockpit, of course. Again, we have an enclosure for this area as well. And uh, the vinyl is due for replacement. We're thinking about replacing this seat, actually. Uh, they're not that expensive. 200, 250 bucks will get you a new one of these seats. The vinyl on this side is not in that bad a shape, but you know, if you're gonna replace one piece, you might as well replace it all and get it in very nice shape. There's actually a cushion there that we have at the upholsters so they can match up these materials perfectly. On the helm, we have a newer Garmin chart plotter. Raymarine uh, depth sounder and autopilot. Rows of rocker switches, of course. 
radian steering wheel, VHF radio, and of course, Meridian's famous for their uh, bow and stern thrusters, which work very, very well. You can literally walk this boat sideways with these thrusters. Of course, you got your twin controls with the separate transmissions and throttles. Makes it much easier to dock. Uh, this boat really handles better than uh, anything I've drove in this size range. It's uh, extraordinarily surprising how nicely this boat handles. Uh, with the twin engines, decent sized props, and the thrusters, anybody can dock this boat. Very, very impressive handling. Of course, we've got storage underneath these seats and storage right here behind this cooler. Um, underneath the uh, console area here is the main air conditioner for the main cabin, easily accessible. Plenty of uh, rocker switches for your windless courtesy lights, bilge pumps, trim tabs, uh, pretty much everything that you would expect, nav lights, things like that. Like I said, newer Garmin chart plotter. And uh, just an overall very nice view out to run the boat. You have a commanding presence as you're uh, riding down the intracoastal waterway through the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia, wherever you may want to take this boat. You have a very beautiful view all around you, open and airy, just like you want. So that's pretty much it for the flybridge. Let's head back down the steps and we will take a look on the foredeck. It's accessed very easily through the side here. We have our pump out here for the black water tank. Go down the side and again, look how beautiful this boat has shined up. Of course, the Meridian logo on the side and your nav lights. Going forward, out here on the foredeck, you got an area where you could put a cushion. Have a nice layout pad here. Of course, your hatch, this is over the master stateroom. Your anchor, windlass controls, all that. Everything easily accessible, beautiful windshield. We're actually thinking about putting some limo tent on that instead of, uh, you can see at some point it had a, uh, a vinyl uh, cover for the front, but I'm not a huge fan of those things. They actually create more heat uh, than they keep out of the cabin. So uh, what a lot of Meridian owners are going to now is putting a limo tent on this. You can still see out of it, but you can't see in and it blocks a lot of the light. Again, we got the brow, beautifully waxed, beautiful shiny boat. We can exit down this side Got our lines tied up. Currently, we're headed into the slip, so we have the shore power cable, 50 amps, running down the side deck. We have a drain in the cockpit here. Uh, these hatches all drain overboard. Uh, we have lights over top of the cockpit. Just a very, very nice setup for a cruising couple looking to get out on the water. But I think what's really going to impress you is the inside. So let's go take a look in there. So the inside is accessed, of course, through this door, beautifully tinted glass, slide open here, and you are in a very, very clean interior. Uh, this boat shows at least 10 years newer than its actual age. It's a 2004 model. I've had people tell me they, they would believe that this is a 2015 model. Very, very clean. It's the original carpet. It's cream colored and it is very clean underneath. As you can see, we just have these rugs which are included in the boat, uh, or included with the boat in here just because it adds a little bit of color. Same thing with the cushions, also included with the boat. Have the galley over here to the starboard side. Nice princess uh, two burner range, fridge air microwave built in, have a coffee pot, brand new refrigerator from Norcold. It does not come stocked with beer, but uh, if the price is right, that can be arranged. Also has a nice little freezer area. Great for a weekend or two out on the hook. Beautiful, solid surface countertops that show much newer than their age would suggest. Stainless sink, 
tons and tons of storage throughout. That is a hallmark of Meridian. They load these boats full of storage areas. These beautiful cabinetry uh, cabinets, solid wood cabinetry. This is not pressed particle board or anything like that that you see on a lot of newer boats. This is all solid wood cabinet work. Of course, you've got your cutlery storage, uh, a newer Bluetooth uh, head unit for your stereo, newer flat screen TV. There's storage behind this because originally there was a tube TV in here. Took that 50 pound boat anchor out, put in a nice new LG flat screen TV. So you've got storage for spare parts such as impellers, spark plugs, things like that. You go back there, your flares, DVD player in the bottom here. Huge, huge storage area for your food. Got a Lazy Susan in here. Tons of room, of course, a light inside of it. And the same thing over here for your dishes. Very, very deep storage area. You're going to see storage throughout this boat. There's actually a little bit of storage underneath this settee area here. It's sort of shallow, but it's great for keeping your guidebooks, charts, things like that. Got a high-low pedestal table. It folds out. Very nice woodwork. Again, solid wood, not uh, just pressed particle board or anything like that. Veneered. Folds out, raises up and down, and can be moved, if you want to, over here to the main settee area to use as a, a dining table. This is actually a recliner. So if you want to watch some TV and recline in comfort, both of these recline out. Very nice setup. This is storage under this end of the couch. Very deep storage, great place to keep uh, a couple cases of beer. We actually have a loudspeaker in there. But a ton of storage throughout this boat. Uh, beautiful open airy views all the way around. This is something you're not going to get in your typical Sea Ray Sundancer or cruiser style boat. This is what you get with a nice flybridge boat. You get a nice big door. You don't have to crawl down into a cave to enjoy your salon area. This is a ton of room for a 34 foot boat. Let's go on downstairs and check out the staterooms. We'll start with the guest stateroom. We're down just a couple stairs here. We go in. This is the guest stateroom. Uh, you can put a couple kids in here for the weekend, maybe a few guests for overnight, or storage. As you can see, we're using it for a little bit of storage right now. We have LED lighting throughout. There's storage behind that headboard, and we have a very nice hanging locker here. A lot of room. Like I said, Viridian really takes advantage of all the available space. There's even storage underneath this bed. Um, the main water tank, which is 100 gallons of fresh water, is under here. Go on into the master stateroom with a deceptively large bed. For a 34-foot boat, this is very, very impressive. Again, more storage under this seating area. Very deep. Lots of space. We've got a nice little counter area. Beautiful port lights. Again, LED lighting throughout. Got a hatch right here, of course, cover for that to black it out if you need for sleep at night, which is great. We've got a flat screen TV. Brand new air conditioning unit is actually uh, underneath this bed. We have a bank of drawers under it, and we have the owner's reference manual, comes with the boat. And we have a nice hanging locker over here on the starboard side with lots of storage room. Again, like I said, Lots of storage all throughout. Uh, underneath these steps, bilge pump, shower sump, things like that. Mechanicals under there. We have the head. Again, a nice solid wood door. All of this stuff. Beautiful woodwork throughout. And inside the shower, another great feature. Solid fiberglass construction. So it's super, super easy to keep this clean without having to worry about any uh, vinyl or woodwork or anything like that. Super easy to keep clean. We have freshwater flush, vacuum flush head. That has uh, been recently rebuilt with all new seals in the head itself, plus in the vacuum pump. Has new duckbill valves, new bellows, all that. So that you've got years and years of stress-free service out of that system because no captain wants to deal with number two problems when you're out on the water. We have plenty of storage here. 
in this medicine cabinet. And a rare feature on a boat of this size, fully enclosed stall shower with plenty of room, very nice shower head. Again, we have LED lighting throughout. Very, very nicely shown boat. Super, super clean. As you expect with something as low hours as this, it just was not used very much over the years. Uh, we have access to the air conditioning filters here. And check out this beautiful ceiling. All solid fiberglass and vinyl, super easy to maintain, but very classy looking. If you look right here on either side, that is actually the air conditioning discharge. So your air comes from the ceiling here. That makes it so no one's sitting on the couch or something like that with an AC vent just blowing on them, freezing them out. Evenly distributes cooling and uh, it's a 90 something degree day here in Georgia and it's nice and chill inside this boat. Really, really great uh, layout. I can show you power panel here. We have tank monitors. You can see we're full of water right now. Battery panel here, a little bit more storage down there for your little daily odds and ends you need. And then on this side, we have your main power panel. Of course, you've got your generator, start stop, and gauges for it, blowers, your macerator controls, DC panel side, sorry, AC panel side, and DC panel side, and your uh, ignition keys. So this just energizes the engines and then you can fire them up, up on the flybridge. Speaking of the engines, they're actually underneath this rug. So give me just a second, I will show you the engine room. The engine room is accessed by pulling this hatch out of the floor. As you can see, it's sound and heat insulated. This boat is very, very quiet when underway. These panels also come up if you needed to do a more major service to your engine. But just for your daily checks, you're just going to pull this hatch out. And down here, you can see we have a toolbox, more tool storage, some battery access, things like that. You can keep your spares over here. See the fuel tank on that side. And your 6.2 liter Mercruiser engines. Nicely placed in there. Very reliable simply designed engines with straight shafts out the back but an overall very clean engine room this is your black uh, your vacuum pump for your vacuum flush head and your black water tank there and like i mentioned before all that sound deadening and heat shielding material that's built into the flooring on this boat the engines are actually idling right now in the interior and you can barely hear them very comfortable quiet interior with the air conditioning running and the engines on can cruise in comfort and peace and quiet. So if you guys are interested in this beautiful 2004 Meridian 341 motor yacht, check out the link in the description below. It is to the for sale ad. This boat is very competitively priced. It does need a little bit of work and that includes just shaft seals. Uh, it's ready for those. It has the Tides Marine upgraded shaft seals, uh, which are fantastic, but it's time for new ones. They're only like $35 a piece, so very inexpensive and it's due for bottom paint. So that's when you would do your shaft seals anyways. It needs to come out and get the bottom painted. Not a big deal. It's just something that's due to be done. It is priced with that in mind. So if you guys are interested, check out the link in the description below for a very clean 2004 Meridian 341. We would love to show you the boat. And all our contact information is in that link below. Click on that. Check it out. Thanks for taking a look.